again. Welcome to this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be doing uh, fixing the photographs of blown out skies like this. So, we're just going to show you a quick way of how to fix this blown out sky. And this is going to be great for you if you're doing photo restoration and you've got skies like this. It just gives it a little bit more edge, it looks a little bit better the finished result. There's a number of ways you can do this. You can actually copy in a sky and, and trim it in and blend it in. But this is a way where you don't have to do that and I think this is a little bit more easier. So let's get started. So first off we're going to make a backup copy like so. Then we're going to grab our magic wand tool and uh, just make a selection like so. Don't have to be too uh, mad on it, just as long as you've got a rough sort of, of the skyline. And the good thing is because it's white, it's really easy to select. So once we've done that, I'm just going to go down to this little yin and yang sign or the black and white circle, whatever you want to call it. Click on select colour. Because that sky is white, we're going to select white in here. And then we're just going to bump up the cyan. And to our mappy, so right about there, I reckon. And you don't have to be too precise, but just have a little look, play, and see roughly what you like. Well, I think about there, I click OK. So now we've got this sky up there, which looks a lot better already. So, I mean, from that to that in a matter of seconds. But I still think it looks a little bit flat, it doesn't look quite real because there's not a cloud in the sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some clouds. Now you can get these cloud brushes off the internet, but I've made this one so I think I watched the tutorial on or some, from someone how to make them and uh, I've copied it and that was it. So it's not too bad. Let me just uh, get my brush. on it that big. Let's come down a tad and then add some clouds. Like so. That'll be okay I think. Don't have to go too mad but you can go as mad as you like but that'll do just for this tutorial. I'm sure you can make better ones than that. And what that's done is it has added some clouds to our mask here, which is pretty cool because it ain't damaged the photo. As you can see, the photo there has still got white, like so. So now we've got our blue sky and our clouds on there. Now you could muck around with the opacity and just turn the opacity down a bit to make it look a little bit more faded if you want to. If it's too much, it makes it look a little bit more realistic. Or, if you want a bit more, bit more adventurous, just uh, I'm going to add a little gradient to our sky. Go to there, black and white, as you can see, black and white, click OK. And it just come down uh, to roughly where the sky is. And then just make a little drop there like that. And it blends it out a little bit. And I think that looks already fantastic compared to that. That looks a lot better. And if you if you wanted to do it again, you could do if you want to blend it out a bit more. That looks okay. I think that looks probably okay as it is. Looks a lot better. It's a bit of a cloud there and a bit of blue. It's not too bright. Doesn't look too fake now. And that was simple. In a couple of couple of steps, you've done that. Rather than dropping skies in and whatnot, I think this is a real easy way of doing it. So let's just try and lift this uh, green up now. So what I'm going to do first is just merge all these now. Flatten them up. Don't need to worry about them. Just drop them down like so. And then we're going to do our levels. And just bump that up. So the green's back in. So we'll bring that green in now. looks okay and as you can see you can do our curves if you want but I think that looks fantastic it looks much better than what it did and it's done in a quick couple of steps there 
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please watch all my other tutorials and let us know what you think. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.